Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial, the first in a series of tutorials on the new code review feature that was introduced with the 6.0.1 release of Rational Team Concert. This video is an introduction that provides an overview of code review. Subsequent videos in this series explain how to configure code review for your project area, provide a walkthrough of a code review, and demonstrate new features as they become available in subsequent releases. The information described in this video series can be found in our user guide, which is available on our wiki. To access the wiki, you will need an account on jazz.net, which is free. Links to other videos in this series can be found in the user guide, or you can simply search for Rational Team Concert Code Review in your favorite search engine. Our goal with RTC Code Review was to provide high value while emphasizing simplicity, right from initial setup through interactive and iterative code reviews. We want developers focused on finding and fixing defects before they get into production. We don't want them burdened with complex tooling and process. Code review is integrated with RTC work items and Jazz SEM to provide developers with a seamless, low overhead workflow that is simple to use and is a natural extension to their daily activities. The developer works entirely in RTC you don't have to switch contexts and go into a third-party tool in order to perform a code review. And you don't have to worry about the intricacies of issue management. It's all handled for you. Reviewers can annotate specific lines of code, which helps developers quickly see and fix issues. Issues can be marked as must-fix, and the reviewer can accept or reject the changes. A separate discussion thread is provided for each issue and events are logged as the review moves along. For example, if a new chain set is added during a review that's already in progress, visual cues are provided that new code has been added, line numbers of any existing issues are automatically adjusted, and if an issue is previously opened on a file that has since been updated, the update event is logged directly in the issue so that reviewers know exactly what has transpired during the life of the issue. Team collaboration is accelerated through real-time notification of pending reviews, issues, and fixes. Code Review supports globally distributed teams. It's been working well for our development team, which is spread across three different time zones. And finally, Code Review enables auditing for compliance, issue status at delivery, approval information, event logs, etc. can be used for a variety of metrics and reporting needs. Let's have a quick look at the components of code review. In order to perform code review in RTC, you will need to add the code review presentation to your work items. The next video in the series explains how to do this, so for now we will simply show you what it looks like. The presentation, which we recommend adding to the approvals tab of a work item as shown here, contains three key pieces of information one or more chain sets to be reviewed, the stream where the changes are to be delivered, and a summary of open issues. Expanding this, you can see who has looked at which files and any must-fix issues currently open on a file. I should point out that you must attach at least one chain set to the work item. The chain set must be complete and the target stream specified before you will be able to open code review. You won't see the button to open a code review unless these prerequisites have been met. The code review presentation you see here is visible only in the web browser. If you are using the Rich Client, you will see a link that will launch the browser page bringing you directly to code review. Clicking on the link opens code review. Let's do that now. The compare editor allows you to view before and after states of the source code. On the right is the before state of the file, and on the left shows a file with the chain sets applied. A navigator is available to browse files and issues. Bold font indicates files or issues that have not yet been seen by the user since they were last updated. When you click on a file, it is opened in the compare editor, and clicking on an issue opens the issue editor. Issues can be opened by selecting a line of code and clicking on the plus sign, 
Or you can create general issues associated with the overall chain sets under review. For example, you may raise a general issue to remind the author to include a copyright statement, as was done here. Issues can be classified according to type, such as security, accessibility, or perhaps a best practice. Issues can be marked as must fix, and depending on how preconditions have been defined, a reviewer may only approve the work item once the must fix issues have been resolved. We will get into preconditions in more detail in part two of this video series where I show you how to configure code review. When an issue is addressed, the author will tag it as resolved and the reviewer will be notified. Note that all actions and comments are logged in the issue editor so you can view its activity history. This is just a quick overview of code review to give you a sense of the features now available in Rational Team Concert 6.0.1. Subsequent tutorials in this series dive deeper into the feature. The next video provides instructions on setting up code review for your project, a must-see for project administrators. The third in this series is a code review in action. We point out key capabilities by following along with a team of developers as a review appears code changes. This concludes our introduction to code review in Rational Team Concert. Please feel free to submit your comments, questions, or feedback. Thank you for watching.